Delighted to welcome Richard Pilat into our studio. He is a teacher at Rosemount Technology Center and he teaches machining. Tell people what machining is because a lot of people think it's, uh, I don't know, maybe working a machine or something, but it's way more complicated than that. Right. Basically, uh, you get a drawing mm -hmm. and you get a piece of material. Could be steel, aluminum, brass, mm -hmm. and now you've got to machine it to the drawing. Okay, so machining, uh, so machining is about using machines to work metal? Work metal to produce a part. Okay, so what's the, what's the most complicated thing about being a machinist? The math. Math? There's a lot of math? There's a lot of math in there. Okay, so if you're a student thinking, oh, I would like to be a machinist, what sort of prerequisites do they have to have? Secondary four. Secondary four math, math. is enough? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Because then we, we got uh, courses, we have a math course, we have a CNC math mm -hmm. where we teach. Now when the student gets into the CNC uh, part, now it's more uh, involved, right? Because mm -hmm. now you got to go from point A to point B and there's radiuses and uh, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, Are there jobs in machining? Great. There's a lot of opportunities. You could go into mining, uh, pulp and paper, aerospace, pharmaceutical, uh, mold and uh, dye making. Okay, I'm thinking pharmaceuticals. Why would pharmaceuticals be looking for machinists? Instruments. Instruments for, for what? Instruments for, oh, like instruments for, m not for measuring, for making? No, no, for uh, whatever they use in uh, hospitals and all these uh, instruments. Okay. Uh, all right. Made by machinists. Yeah. So how long is the program at Rosemount Technology Center? 1,800 hours, a year and five months. A year and five months. So let's say there's uh, a year basically learning uh, conventional machining mm -hmm. and five months of CNC. Okay. But that's the basic CNC, you know? Mm -hmm. Then also we have the ASP program. Which is? Uh, a station, uh, it's specialisé professionnel. Okay. So basically now it's uh, a step higher. A step higher okay. of CNC. Now you learn uh, new software, master cam. Okay. And compl more complex pieces. Okay. And that's how you get your ASP. So. So as a teacher, you have to, I guess, uh, stay current and yes. be up to date on everything. That's, that's right. Yeah. So. Tell us what these things, these are parts that have been machined? Yes. So in other words, when you look at the, this part, yeah. it's basically a, a round piece. Mm -hmm. And now you go on a, a computer because this is done on a CNC. CNC means for people at home who Numerical don't... Numerical control. Uh, okay, so that means it's automatic. You basically program, program it in the machine. Program all the G-codes and it goes to the machine. You make your setup. And now you close the doors, you press the button, and the machine will produce a thousand, two thousand pieces of these. Wow. If you would do this on a conventional machine, it would take you forever. Yeah. But on a CNC, it's no time at all. Machinists must make a lot of money because the parts that they make are so specialized, you know? And I'm sure not everyone has the qualifications or abilities to make such specialized pieces, you know, that are so important in so many industries. When a student uh, leaves school, okay, the, the salaries are, you know, maybe 13, 14, <clears throat> but as he picks up experience and he learns more, mm -hmm. then, you know, yes, the, the salary goes up and it depends on the company that you work for. Yeah. If, but there, uh, there are some machinists who make incredible stuff, though, that no one else can make. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing how uh, the stuff that they make. So someone would say to you, I want a hammer, they'd give you, oh, okay, so this is a drawing that you would get? So this is the, this is the one you would get, mm -hmm. where all the parts are, all yeah. the dimensions. Yeah. And this is to show you how... How you, it will look, or how, how it will be put together? Or? How to put it together. Okay. And then how long from the time you get a drawing to the time you have the finished hammer? Well, like a month or a week or an no, hour? Or? No, let's say three days. Three days? Oh, three hours, so that, you know, 15 hours. Yeah. 
and you could make something like this. Yes. What is this? A metal or a steel okay, or this aluminum? Is, or? This is what we call a soft hammer. So in other words, if you want to bang nails, you can't bang nails. This is a, a hammer that uh, when you're working on a machine mm -hmm. and you want to uh, bang on a piece without mm -hmm. damaging, then you've got an aluminum and, or a brass. Oh, so one side is aluminum and one side is brass. Right. Okay. So if you want to bang something and without damaging mm -hmm. it, that's what you would use. Okay. Well, if you're interested in becoming a machinist, Rosemount Technology Center is the place to check out. Uh, and Richard Pilat will probably want to be one of your teachers. That's right. And you're saying that it's very rewarding to, to meet your students oh, say, when they're out in the workforce and, it is. and working as machinists. Yes. Thank you very, very much for speaking with us this you're morning. You're welcome. My Rosemount pleasure. Technology Center, check it out.